in the last days of the liturgical year, we are shown what lies ahead. Notably, the judgment that awaits us. We are told that the Son of Man sits in authority to judge and the books are opened and that souls are judged according to what is written in those books. What is written are days. We stamp our days. This day will be written as we write it in indelible ink for history once writ lives on and there is only one history in time the sons of men write it hour by hour and it can never be unwrit specifically in the monastic life the death of a faithful brother is a moment of joy for though there is sadness in parting there is a joy in knowing that they are safe they have stamped time well one day there was a guest leaving the monastery and saying clocking up the hours and she was comparing the way that the hours were kept safe by the bell and the orarium in the enclosure that was kept therefore on track on the way to eternity whereas outside in the world time went all over the place and it was often out of control One day we were burying a very holy father for the canis who had shortened his life through penance. Indeed, he increased his penance after the changes that came in the wake of the Second Vatican Council to us to make up for what was not happening in community sometimes. He died therefore early. But as we buried this saint, it hit me. He, like his saviour, conquered. And I wrote these quiet words. See him go into the beyond. The burying of a saint. The wheel of fortune turns but once for us, and we this circuit run in our soul race. What it is to pause, or this caved sleep sealed thus for air by one small sod. What is to face the parting of a friend that comes not back from this his unmapped journey? What it is to gaze at the unseen and there to lack the means to know what means by now are his. O oh, dense unknown, tis this to know thee well. 
for that thy weight, too great for little things, crushed all that e'er approached thee. Heard thy nail, or stepped into the shuffling of these wings that blow out this our candle with a flick. For though we burn, we lose not this strange.